You know, Kat, but whoever said your room reflects the state of your mind, kinda ate with that one, cause what the fuck is this? Hey guys, welcome to my super clean, super organized, super put together life. Just kidding. I have no idea what's coming out of my mouth, but I just need to let shit fly. First and foremost, the state of my room. Let me give you some slight background context. I was just in Vegas for five nights and I had so much fun, but I am feeling the repercussions today. I definitely lost years off of my life, but needless to say, I don't regret a second of it. Furthermore, it got me thinking. It really got me thinking. So that's kind of what just inspired me for today. First and foremost, I'm gonna just say, I have no idea what I wanna do with my life. I have no idea what I want to happen. I have no idea what I'm working towards. And I've never talked to anybody about this, but it's honestly really discouraging. So that's why I just keep it to myself because I feel like, it feels like everybody has some sort of a plan or idea of what they want to do and like growing up you have your dream job for your profession and I've just never had that like I do enjoy what I study I study entertainment business and I know I want to do something in the entertainment industry honestly I have no idea what <laughs> I have no idea how I have no idea why we're just kind of just kind of vibing along and that's kind of always been my plan where I'm like, I know the universe will help guide me there, but I'll be honest, it's almost scary, it's upsetting, it's kind of discouraging not having like that driving motivation factor. Like I love being in LA and everything and I'm so happy I'm here, but right now, like for the past few months, I've kind of been facing like Kind of feeling like how I felt before I moved to LA where I was just ready for something else and ready to just uproot and change my life but right now I just kind of feel stuck because I'm bored with my routine and my day-to-day -day, my jobs and school and whatnot just how my life is scheduled right now I'm not necessarily able to do all the things I want but TBH a girl is lost because honestly all I want to do is make money and buy so me, so me. I literally have like snot on my sleeves because I was crying this morning. <laughs> I was getting ready for work and okay, let me walk you through my evening last yesterday. So two days ago, Super Bowl Sunday, hotel checkout on Monday was on 11 a.m. We get home at like 10:30 a.m., throw all of our shit up, and then worked. I left at like 9.45 and then I went home and went to bed and this morning woke up like sore throat like in pain just not feeling it and I just like was dreading going to work because I hate because I know my schedule for the rest of the week is so booked up and like when my room's a mess I am a fucking mess and I was just like this is gonna be a terrible week I'm so backed up I'm not gonna be able to get caught up I have all this stuff to do I'm like I'm so tired I don't feel good so I just like you know what it's never that deep. I'm calling off. Like, this is a personal day that I need. And so I did just that. First, pick up my room. Refresh everything. Get us on a good, even playing field. And since I've been doing that, I already feel so, so much better. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I was gonna go to 6.30 a.m. Pilates today, but I woke up and I was just like, you know that's not happening. I was ambitious. I'm just like, I just need a reset day. Like, I just want to move my body still, get some fresh air. So I'm just gonna go for a walk. But kind of happy about that, just taking things slow and hopefully we'll reset. But yesterday, I like had this feeling, or kind of this weekend too, which I experienced during Coachella this past year, which if you know, you know, and most of you don't. But essentially, um, my friends and I, we went to the festival for day three. We I had gotten artist passes. A very long story on that, but that trip was amazing. And on the last day, I just had this super weird feeling, and I kind of started to experience this a little bit more towards the end of Vegas too, where it's like, it's one thing to get into these spaces. When we do it, it's kind of like a through a person you know, do this, that, and third. But I almost feel like a sense of, I don't know, kind of, 
not that I'm kind of like imposter syndrome. It's like I feel like my goals for myself and where I see myself is me being in these spaces for like being invited for like having an established brand and having a following and a network and all this. And it, when I'm in there without those, I'm almost like this feels like it's cheating it or like doesn't feel as genuine or like isn't as fulfilling to me as I would hope for. I was kind of similar in Vegas. Um, we didn't do like a ton of like this crazy stuff, but it was like a similar feeling. And then we were at the shack house and seeing all these people and it's like, I know I can be in this space and make a name for myself, but it's like, I'm not doing anything to get there. So it's like a weird, internal battle where it's like you can't really complain because you're not doing anything but it's like you're also not doing anything to change that so yesterday at work i was literally just staring into space and like how how can i better my life how can i do that and to do that i will be exploiting my life on the internet i think is the most reasonable solution just going to post whatever i don't know start doing youtube videos because i love making these and i also feel like I was listening to the Aware and Aggravated podcast earlier today, and I love me some Leo Skeppy. And a lot of the times, whatever he's going through, I feel like I'm going through something very similar at the same time, which I always think is interesting, because, like, today's podcast spoke to me. Like, that's kind of what caused my tears, because I was like, bro, it's, what's the title? Um, it's when feeling numb starts to hurt. And I feel like I've been very just going through the motions, just kind of going along, coasting with things where I'm like, you're not really doing things that make you happy. Like you do have hobbies, but you're not doing anything. You're just doing like the bare minimum to get by. And I feel like that's kind of just like, <sighs> my friend always does these tarot cards readings on me and they keep saying I need to like let back and calm down and like do less because I'm going to burn out. And I feel like, that's kind of all starting to hit now and just like coming back after being gone and just bang 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 instead of like giving myself time to recover and set up so that's why i'm taking the morning to do just that because my mantra for 2024 is the year of yes like i want to do more i want to see more because i say no to so much stuff all the time and i'm like you only live once um like my Twenty-three. It was kind of like a freak accident that should have really happened. Um, he should have recovered. I can oh, be touching more into this because this is a big thing with my year of yes. But <sighs> yeah, I don't talk about it right now. But anyways. I kind of put into perspective like this new mindset of mine where it's like two ones in the spectrum where it's like nothing matters but on the other hand like nothing matters who cares so just trying to live life to the fullest and so that's what I'm trying to do my year yes I've let it cut out of it my brain and 
I don't want to talk to anybody about anything or do anything, so I just keep a lot of stuff to myself, and I know. <sighs> Growing up, like, I found joy in, like, making videos and creating stuff, and, like, even though it's only to, like, my spam Instagram account, but I'm like, that's something that makes me happy, so just really try to connect back in with that side of me because it is something that I do enjoy and it makes me happy and yada 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 so why would I not do that so here we are mm -mm, I was not expecting to get so emotional but that's long story short that's where I'm at so pretty much just trying to figure out my life and see what the universe has in store for me I don't know, maybe somebody out there can relate. Um, trying to do better at expressing my emotions and rather than doing that face to face in a conversation, I'll just give it so everybody can hear. I want to be able to, feel like, my kind of thing is, as cliche as it is, and everybody fucking says it's like you're like literally in tomorrow. What do you want to be known for? What do you want to leave behind? What do you want people to like be saying about you? Especially seeing all the love and support around my brother when he passed. I'm like, what am I doing? Or like, what am I not doing? Like, if that would have been me, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is I want to be able to either wake up one day and be like, wow, I really tried and like, I did this, I did stuff I cared about, I was nice to people, I built a community versus then being like, oh, what if, or I should have done this, or I could have done this, or blah, 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 like had it out for me. So that's pretty much what I'm just trying to do. We'll figure it out, but that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to subscribe. You wanna see my face again? Could be in a day, could be in a week, could be in a month, could be in a year, <laughs> we really don't know. But yeah, Follow me on my other socials. There'll be more stuff there. That is a promise. I hope we all just have a beautiful, great 2024. Goodbye.